What up folks? Welcome back. DG 47.62 gun review. We got more content. And uh, if this is your first time stopping through the channel, man, first of all, welcome. We appreciate you stopping through. But most of all, man, if you like the content and it's helping you in any way, or if you would like to help us in any way, hit the like button and definitely hit the subscribe button, man. Also, hit that bell for notifications so you can know every time we upload content. With that being said, man, we're gonna get into the video as y'all can probably see from the title. Man, I got my z pack 92 right here, man. It's clear, magazine clear. Let me do that first so YouTube understand. We're going, uh, we're going by the roof. So, um, yeah, man, z pat 92, AK-47 chambered and 7.62 by 39 millimeter. Crink style muzzle brake on this joint. Got the crink style muzzle brake on this joint, man. We got the nickel bolt carrier, chrome line barrel, man. But this is a 30 round magazine, crank style, classic wooden Russian red handle. Man, this joint is sweet. You know what I'm saying? We got the SB Tactical folding brace on this joint. I think this is the 1913 folding brace. You got the Romeo MSR. So if you want to use your iron sights on this, because this is an elevated red dot you can look right underneath the red dot and still use your iron sights. Don't get no better than that for the AK. So, uh, yeah, that's good stuff right there, man. And um, you got your AK, man. Uh, whatever you decide to go with, you know, it's a lot of different options. I got a Draco sitting right here. This right here, I mean, the Draco just does not compare to the build of this firearm. It's like a heavy duty AK, I would say, because I'm an AK lover. So, you know, it is what it is, man. You can't, you can't run from what it is. Like the first thing I learned to do was, and I learned this from Johnny Snow, shout out to him. Um, like, do your own work on your firearm. Don't. Don't be out here taking your firearm uh -uh. to the gunsmith. No, no, no. Hey, you can if you want to, but it's going to get expensive no, no, no. on you. So why not learn your firearm, yes. understand your firearm. Then when it break down, you ain't got to spend money on getting it fixed. You can spend money on getting more guns. You can spend money fixing it yourself, which you're not going to spend nowhere near the money that you spend trying to send it into somebody else for, so they could break your pockets. Um, first thing I did was learn how to put in a drop-in trigger. Uh, A-L-G-A-K-T-E-L. -E I think they have the U-L as well. Okay, so let's keep in mind that the A-L-G-A-K-T-E-L trigger is a two and a half pound trigger group as to where the stock trigger that comes in the Stava z pap is a six and a half pound trigger. I've heard as light as five and a half pounds. But two and a half pound trigger is going to give you a crisp break. As soon as you touch the trigger, it's going to break. So two and a half pound trigger from six, it's a big difference. So uh, that's an upgrade that I would recommend. Um, you'll get a lot more quality usage of your firearm. ALG drop-in trigger. These are some of the things you can learn to do. I'm actually going to, that's probably going to be my next video, is uh, me taking the trigger out of this Draco and putting the uh, ALG trigger in, in this right here. Damn, that's, that's super smooth. Like, it's no abrasion. It's, woo! Hold on. Oh. Yeah. So, what you want to do is, and I learned this from my boy Clayco 47. Clayco 47. 
What you want to do is smooth out the action in your AK. You want to take the trigger group out of the AK and you're going to smooth out the hammer face of the part that's making contact with the bolt carrier. You want to smooth it out so that the rough notches of the hammer face are not getting caught up on the bolt carrier. So for instance, So what you have to do is you have to get a Dremel and smooth out the action on the hammer face. If you look closely, you can see where it's a sharp face on this, um, this original AK hammer face. See how sharp that is. When you look at this one that's been smoothed out and you understand that it's been cut down, or smooth down, and it's all the way down to the nickel. So it's very, very slick. And this right here is still like top coat, gritty metal. Some of this is like, you know, it's wearing off and it's pretty smooth. But this right here is definitely abrasive and gritty and sharp. So one of the things that I would encourage is that yes. you yes. watch yes. videos uh, tutorials on how to change your furniture on AKs, how to do your maintenance on AKs. There's no reason you should be sending your gun or taking in your gun to someone else. What kind of shit is that? You and the weapon should be one. You have to learn every aspect of it when it comes to repairs. You should learn every aspect of it when it comes to actually using. Don't buy a firearm and let somebody else tell you everything about the firearm. You should be the one learning what the firearm has to offer. There's plenty of videos on YouTube, um, and I'm pretty sure there are other platforms or other avenues you can go to learn about your firearm. But the information is out there, and uh, man, if, if, if this video is helping you, in any way or you like the content hit the like button we're trying to get this algorithm moving for 2022 thank everybody for coming through i'm gonna wrap up the video right now ak lovers i got more ak's coming i got my 2022 uh gun collection coming so peace appreciate y'all for stopping through again hit the like button if you like the content Hit the subscribe button if you would love to subscribe. That being said, you already know. Those that stay ready ain't got to get ready. Till next time.